This game is between Trick Jump and Good Luck. And for Trick Jump, we had Sebes, Shaman, and Sherlock. Sherlock was using the name Brother Brax. We also had Good Luck with uh, Aquila, uh, Karma, and Shook, or Sook. Uh, Sook was using the name Simon for the game. Um, I tried to use their real names when I could. Um, but I might have used their fake nicks as well. Uh, the maps were E.T. Ice and Supply. Enjoy the game. Prepare to fight. So here we go. This is going to be Trick Jump against Good Luck. There's going to be Karma, Simon, Aquila, Seb Hess, Sherlock, A.K. Brother Rax and Shaman. Should be a pretty good matchup. We are here on E.T. Ice. It's also known as RCW Ice because it is an RCW map. Karma has a bit of experience there. We'll see how he can start things off. Nade into the halls. Doesn't manage to pick up any frags. As uh, it does look like the engineer will be able to push through and get that service door plant without too much of an issue. Dynamite plant has gone down. Might have just hit my mic. I do apologize. Push coming in towards the, the flag. Nice revive play from Shaman. Push is going to just come over the top of him though. It's just getting caught up in the door as Aquila picks up four frags. Easy. That door is... you got you got to position yourself quite well. No pans or anything. They might go for a defuse here. They've got it. They've got that defuse. Just slow them down a little bit once they get their hands on that flag. There's Aquila. Coming back off. That's got someone in box room to uh, help him. Simon leading the charge. Double headshot comes out just before he respawns. Simon getting a frag on Serpes who was pushing in towards south. Looks like Sherlock's going to make his way this way. Generally you have a one-man defense on this side of the map. Generally. Coming into the flag, Simon picks up two. The flag grab from from uh, Joe Clock is going to get things done. Engineer needs needed once more to get that service side down. So the cheeky defuse came in. Oh, that grenade! The hiding spots. That's what I mean. This is the, the small things that you know from the map just from playing it for a long time. That's why I was very surprised when we talked about it earlier when. Nice little jump from Sebes. That is, a, that is an easier jump to do in ET than it is RCW, unfortunately. But I don't think you can do the wall jump as easily. Even though he just did. Oh. Gave his position away. Should have just picked up the objective. We have destroyed the main Simon's going to come up the ladder, take him down. And he had a good ch chance there to just pick it up. At least, uh, just distract them, scare them. Good luck, maybe gonna go for the service side's defense. They are indeed. I think Karma would have told them how to play this map. At least the basics, you know, where we've got to hold it, where's a good place to defend. The aggression, though, not so smart. Fortunately, uh, Simon was respawning back in. Sherlock's not gonna be able to push up that spawn ladder to get the objective. Push in towards the box room. Nades are going to rain out from Karma and Aquila. But the, uh, the surviving Axis players aren't going to push up service. Simon already pushed up into position. Sebes trying to go for the jump again. He's going to make it. They're yeah, going to hear this though. They're going to hear this. No. They didn't hear it. So Sebes is up top. Shaman's going to be able to get a frag in north. And uh, Simon's worried about the potential. The objective has actually been picked up. Does he realise? Does he realise? He doesn't seem to be reacting as if... I mean, they do know. They do know. He's in service. Let's pick up Simon. Simon's just running. Gets the flag. No one's holding service door, though. They're all on south. And Karma's going to push towards it. What's going to happen is Karma's going to push this way. Not see him. How did Sebes lose that? I think he gave him too much of a chance. He thought, hey, he's going to run past me. Should have just shot him in the back the second he saw him. But it's easy for me to say. I, I'm, I'm the caster. Got that 2020. 
Push coming nine through service. Nice. Two uh, two guns in position. They're going to pick up the flag once more as well. It's very different from what ET teams are used to. There aren't many maps where the flag is always obtainable by the defensive team. I don't think there are any maps, actually. The closest you come to it is on uh, delivery. If they haven't built the controls, the, the, flag, the flag is uh, consistently um, reclaimable. I just saw a Kawitu taking advantage of. Nice grenade. It's a bit of damage onto two players. Reply grenade comes out from Simon. More spam in through the North Halls. Karma's going to get dropped down, but he's going to get revived. Maybe there's a push coming in through South. I think it still is. Very slow. Two players in these North Halls. Managed to get behind the revive player. Oh, the headshots from Simon. Just came around the corner spraying and got headshots. It's going to be an easy clean up. Well, good luck. Good luck. In the halls. Quilla trying to get off some early, early shots. Interesting prone position. Let me watch this. Yeah, I didn't think it would last very long. Blocking his teammate. Need to be careful with the positioning here. Just let, let Karma play a little bit more aggressive. He's to build up. Nice shots from Shaman. You need a give as well. Really nice from Shaman. Two frags coming in for him. Revive as well on that on, after he got taken down. Lots of headshots raining on towards the, uh, the ally players. Karma's going to clean things up. Uh, the revive train is still going. Karma's on a long spawn. They need to take him down for full here. He can't get away. That's uh, what the axis needed. And they need to push together as a team. They're only against two players. Sebas is only on a pistol. Nice grenades. Pushes on through. Stands on the pack so he gets a lot of healing. As uh, Sherlock manages to get the frag in. And I don't know how much longer they're down for. I think they might be respawning very soon. Is Shaman going to get shot in the back? He can get shot in the back through the window. He actually managed to make it up and get the objective. Pushing towards the long ladder. He's uh, shooting someone on hill. It's only one man hill defense. He can just slide down if he wants to. He has got a little bit of support from uh, from Sherlock on middle. Maybe a, a push towards spawn ladder. They do know his position. He has shown himself. Pushing across the top. Uh, Sepes comes in. Flanks him on tree. Nice headshot comes out from Simon. Really important kill needs to come out from, Sher uh, from Shaman. Sorry. And it's not. And it's not. And they reclaim the flag. Dirty. Pretty sure Sepes is somewhere around here. Oh. Can they get... Oh, it's nice, uh, nice play by the Allied team. They went up top just to clear it, just to make sure. Great shot. Karma right. felt his death. <laughs> Uh, you got Simon holding the flag down. Full hold here on, on ice. It's pretty impressive. Wasn't even the easiest to full hold on 3 on 3 ice W. Because generally once you've got the objective as the attacking team, you really had a lot of uh, room to get away. A bit of blocking going on. Nice headshot comes out from Shaman. Picks up that flag. And there's a nade going to be on there on them very soon. One gibbed out for full. And that is going to be Karma respawning back in. No problems at all for him. And they're always weakened. They seem to be very weakened on their attacks. And they don't push in three uh, north. Only two's in north. And every time they push three um, north, someone seems to go for the flag on south. But doesn't seem to be the case this time. Easy grenade again. And you're going to have two out for full spawn and the Gibbs. Karma is risking full. He will take the flag. Doesn't know where the remaining player is. FS tried to push on through. He's going to get taken down. So they're pushing forward for the flag defense. One minute and 20 seconds on the clock. I don't know. This is going to be a full halt. He's looking strong. You never know on ice. Pick up that objective. You can just glide so quickly away. Uh, synchronized attacks don't look too great from, uh, from Trick Jump. No, they don't seem to be doing too much. Uh, I don't think they practice map too much. Seems to be surprised by the service defense at least. Maybe ET teams don't normally defend it like that because this this is very much an RTW style defense, pushing up into service and holding service. That doorway is very easy to defense. Simon goes very aggressive. 
as the revives will come in. Trick jump have done some good revive work. You need about 31 seconds on this map. Dodge and weave from Karma. Can hear healing, so that's someone on the middle level. Who's that? Is that Seves? He is. He's, he doesn't want. He doesn't want to do it. Oh. Karma with the stab potential. Flak's going to get grabbed right at the end, but that is going to be a full hold for good luck. We'll see how the uh, how the trick jump guys can defend as well because they've got some decent shooters, but they got heavily outmatched in this game. Double fragged. Nearly, nearly, uh, what, fifty percent extra damage. That was uh, pretty brutal. Here comes the attack. Some good luck. Three man push into the halls. Karma is going to get that plant down on service. Nades rain out into the halls. Decent shooting there. By the way, it's going to go down. I think on Engineer to try and defuse this. I think they have. One more player still alive. It's going to be Karma. They have taken him down, so Engineer's going to get that defuse in. Again, like I said, we've had seen a lot of defuses today. At least in the games I've passed it. Not unusual, not unusual defuses, but... Cool, it's going to be able to get that pistol frag in. And they've left Shaman all alone. Here's an Engineer. He hasn't got full HP either. They didn't drop him any packs. They know his positioning now. He needs to be very careful. And he's going to get flanked very soon. Nice headshot on the first shot. And he's going to try and push on through. His teammates abandoned him. Nice nades. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I think uh, the reviving medic decided to back off Simon. Maybe took a bit of damage. Okay, again, then we can't, had some kill outs. Nice headshot at the end, but he gets dropped. Flag gets picked up by the ally team, uh, by the Axis team, sorry. Push coming in. Nice reclaim. Sherlock with the double frag. Retakes the North Halls. And I think they plotted again. Maybe it's going to be another defuse. There isn't. There's no, uh, there's no engineer. I think they planted service again. Shaman's very defensive here. Seems to be my position in SW. Needs to play where he's standing there, very close. He gets taken down. I think they'll be have a free run through service here. I'm pretty sure they've already blown it. Let me just go check. Nope, I haven't implied it. I'm pretty sure they have an engineer. He comes into the flag room. One jet drops down. Aggressive play there. Very short spawn. They're always leaving that one player just alive by himself and. Fortunately, it doesn't cost them this time. Sebhes is going to push out into north. He's going to have players to deal with very soon. Nade in his hands. Here's the footsteps. Oh, it's the ceiling. I hate to see it. It happens. Let's revive. I'm not going to get that gibbon. Karma the engineer is going to go in for flag. Still abandon this uh, this service door, making flag the main objective. Reclaim comes in. Nice shooting from Seb has picks up two frags and now they've got control again. I need to get that that plant down. Scare the allies a little bit. Sometimes it can be worse. Sometimes I remember when I played, it was actually nice when a team was playing service. We, we never tried to defuse it just because it gave us an an easy entrance into defending the flag. 
Um, and then into defending these North Halls, which were quite hard to defend. You had to go through a flag first. Flag grab comes in. Nice headshot from Aquila there. He didn't finish off the, the frags. Shaman's going to fall back to the, the service. I think they're going to just push on. Oh, did they not grab the flag? What happened there? That was very strange. Then we have Aquila. It's taken down. That was really weird. I thought they had the flag there. Dynamite planted. So plant has gone down on the service door. Push will start coming out these uh these south halls. Come on, he might try and do the jump here. Sepes is on it. See, Sepes was doing the a jump quite often in the last half of the round. You can see his head. Gonna get a bit of damage in. That's the common on a sudden jump. And he, if you get shot, you've got no chance. Nice push in through north. No give comes in. But the frags will. Simon with a big triple kill. And he's gonna decide to go for the gibbs. He's gonna go for the revive. Yes. But he could have got up top by now. There is going to be a flag grab. There's going to be Seb Hess. Long spawn, actually. Not sure if the allies are going to spawn back in. They had so much time. So much time. That was a lot of falls. And I don't think they realise Seb Hess is alive. Maybe they don't. Respawn is going to come in. Should I stick with Seb Hess? I think that's the best way to go. I think Aquila is going to run home by himself. And if they don't escort properly. Oh, don't need to mess. If Especially if you only see one guy, do not need. You have to secure this. He's going to start seeing objective. Just. You can hear it. No. No. Yeah, see how easy it was with the gun? Nearly killed yourself with the grenade. Objective secured. I could have. That could have gone really bad. Well played, Sam Hess, though. Well played. So Karma gets dropped. He was only on a Luger. Wasn't going to be able to hold that. Shaman drops him pretty easily. Smiley face from Seb Hess. That could have backfired so badly. Coming in through north, they are going to take control of the flag as well. Three minutes, 23 seconds on the clock. Double full hold, looking likely. And that was our... I mean, just escort the objective. That's all you've got to do. They had so much time, they didn't really need to even watch the back. Nice revive from Seb Hess. Simon is going to be able to pick up two frags. The flag has been dropped. Uh, reclaimed, sorry. Uh, no, no spawn time issues there. I think that's one player making it up top. It is indeed. It's Karma. Manages to take down Shaman. And he's got Seb Hess in his sight. Seb Hess comes out on top. Revive will come in. And that was a, a lucky break for the trip jump team. So yeah, they did look like they were going to lose that. Coming up the ladder into someone's uh, crosshairs is never good. Simon caught out on the respawn. Oh, the price. As uh, someone pushes up spawn ladder. Two minutes twenty-five ish on the clock. Always follow the objective. I don't know. If there's only one player alive, you should have followed the one player in my opinion. Sort of like in CS Sale cast. If it's one on five, was cast uh, always follow the one guy. This uh, are a middle, I think. Aquila's on top. He needs support. They're going up in once. You've got uh, the main objective of um, getting to the documents is just to take control of Long Ladder, get a couple of people up where Shaman is right now. They're not really taking control. They're taking control of Tree, which is a lot of people. This isn't ET. This is RSW as well. A lot of people get sort of sucked into the to going for Tree. It's, uh, I don't know why. 
Uh, I remember we had a clown play for us. Like, never played ice before. Oh, no, objective has been picked up. He's struggling to get down the hole. The objective gets down there. Objective will be secured. secured. Yeah, clown played for us, and he never really played ice before. And he, exactly the same thing happened to him. He just got sucked in towards the tree. I don't know why it is. Obviously, it was very quick to learn that that's not how, it, how you do it. Axis, uh, got about 15 seconds. They need to go for spawn ladder. Karma is going for the kills. As uh, Simon's made it up long, he has one grab. One grab, one run. Can't slow down. Oh, the grenade could have been massive. And Seves is going to take a lot of damage. He has to just run. Can't really slow himself down. And he doesn't know where to go. You've got to go south. Oh, I don't know if he's got the time. Is there anyone in front of him? I will stick with the objective here. I have no idea where other people are. Some of the worst strafing in the history of strafing. He is making it away. Frags are going south, though, as a trick jump pick up one. And it's, if Karma drops here... Oh no, he's going to take shots, Simon. He needs to just pack run. He's taking shots in the back. Seven, six. Is Simon going to make it away? He does. He manages to get home. How did that happen? They had three people shooting him in the back, I'm pretty sure. And that was it. That was it for the map win. He had no other choice except to run. There was no, there was no waiting. There was no anything. Four seconds. My God, that ended. Jeez. Four seconds before the end. Two to zero. Good luck go up. These are the stats on the screen. Glorious ending. Glorious ending. <laughs> yeah. I, I won't go, I won't go uh, too far in saying that was like some really good do docks run. It was a little slow. And as Snatic says in chat, efficient. But, uh... Hey, he got it done. He got it done. Sometimes sometimes people were just not great at strafing. That's just the way it goes. So we have good luck. A 2-0 to zero lead. Trick jump. So close to that double full hold. That's going to hurt. 32 frags for Simon. 30 frags for Aquila. 29 for Karma. They all went big. And the other team all went very equal. I think on their own attack, they got dominated for a long period. So it was very hard to claw themselves back into, in terms of stats. It does look like the second map's going to be Supply. Opportunity for Trick Jump to try and uh, equal things up. They are on the attack first. So it's in their hands. If they get full held, they've got no one else to look at. Getting full held twice on any map. So that's it. That's, you deserve to lose, effectively. Shaman with the field up off the start. Gets the ammo out for his team. And the frag. And, uh, it's a short spawn for the Axis team, but they are going to be able to take over the low area. Let's pick up Shaman. He's got the nade in his hands. Ooh. They are clustered on middle are the Axis team. And Shaman's going to get overwhelmed. Two players coming down. Where are the rest of his team? A bit slow on the uh, uptake. Too happy to hold on to their ammo. Aquila goes aggressive towards the cave and... Get Seb Hess mid 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 run, and I don't think uh, Sherlock's died yet, but he's somehow come back, and now he's going to go down the cave. Oh, the nade, the nade. That would have been from mid, maybe even upper. Aggressive play from Goodluck is paying off. We did see them do this sort of aggressive play against uh, Smashed earlier. Yeah, this is the sort of nade I think happened before. And there's Quilla. He's going to get taken down, show clock. And the respawn. Pushing in. Karma's going to have to dodge that. Yeah. Efficiently did. Getting nailed at the moment. Two players still alive for the trick jump team. The damage in, just not finishing people off. Quilla picks up two frags on, on that, uh, on that defence. Aggressive plays by the Good Lack team, and this is the this is the spawn they need an engineer on. So they have a lot of freedom to push in, and this is exactly what we saw from uh, Smash before, where they have uh, a lot of control, but it's not much they can do with it because. Unless we see uh, Sherlock spawning as an engineer here, he's not. 
still going to go up the stairs. And the Axis will just be happy. They'll st stay on the stairs forever. If you're not going to get an Engineer, they'll just stay here forever and then they'll push down in the last five seconds. Like the push is coming in now. Again, no Engineer. This would have been blown. Obviously the Axis probably would have tried to defuse it or... Unfortunate. Karma is out for a long spawn here, but he could get revived on the shelf. As uh, I think the player is going to go up. Is that Karma? I thought, I thought Karma got taken down. Nice grab on the spawn time. And they have got a Kobe and an Engineer. And this could be really, really hard for the Axis team. They need to get in the frags. As the Axis are actually going to be able to spawn back in. But they have got themselves a suit and they know it. Good luck. No, they've got their hands on a suit. They know that the door is going to be an issue. There aren't going to be any airstrikes. There aren't really going to be any mines. It's just going to be about the crossfire on the roads. CP hasn't been built up yet either. They've constructed a command post. And, uh, Seb has all by himself. Good luck of uh, built up CP now to set up a CP defense. As I think Sebhes was pushing down cave, trying to uh, get Karma by surprise. Aggressive play by a couple of the Axis players. And they, it's going to be a weakened CP defense. One player in position only. Nice revive from Charmin. He messed it up at first. They should push over on this. They need to get the, uh, the revives in. I think they maybe only have one medic. Double frag comes out from Aquila. They do indeed only have one medic, so they're going, running in a Kobe, and the medic's going first. Medic. Nice headshots, the middle. It's only on you, Severs. You have to get the revive. And they should have CP. Just get that forward spawn. Yeah, good luck team. Seemingly giving that up. Now they're building back and holding on west. I like this defense. Take, taking the key parts of the map for, for certain uh, stages. Their CP defense wasn't amazing, but at the same time... It's hard to defend CP. Aquila pushes up the cave, goes aggressive. They should know he's here. Shaman should have seen him there. Double kill out. I don't know. Build up CP. Maybe they spawn back on purpose. Nice revive from Shaman. Alright, maybe gonna go down on main. Shooting as well. Double revive needed. Sherlock needs to finish off this plant. And the kills come in and I think... Yeah, Sherlock. Again then. They either all have to kill out, or none of them kill out. Someone needs to be given that commanding call. They still haven't got CP seemingly. I'm not sure if a shaman's spawning at the uh, old flag on purpose or not. Nice sh shooting from shaman. And he goes through the door and makes himself the easiest target possible. Nice one. Clock. He has put the plant down as well. I don't see uh, any engineer potential. The respawn of the allies is coming in very soon. Yeah. Engineer has been killed. He did get gibbed, right? Yes. Well, he tapped or he got gibbed. Plant going down on east. Nades over the top. And they're going to go for a defuse here. They're very much wanting to go for this defuse. Karma has pushed over. Seb has killed out as well. And Shaman as well. So, uh, it's easy to fuse. Very simple stuff. Revives will come in. Struggling a little bit when you're getting shot, getting pushed back. Simon in position here at main. Only got a Luger. Why has he got the nade out? Trying to get the nade on the respawn. Simon was just staying alive. So there's actually one guy on pistol. They got a, have they got a filled up? No, they've got an engineer still. So they might go for another defuse. Can't see Karma anywhere. And Seb has to start making his way up top. I think they know he's a medic. He is uh, up top. So actually push back down, started to move the truck. They haven't got that gib on the pair on east. And the revival will come in and they'll probably just abandon it. They'll know they can't really save truck now. They'll have to go up top. Three ally players. It's 
still rolling with the engineer. Nice revive from Seb Hess. Truck is in position. They need to keep these revives going. As the push coming in through the main spawn. And the frags come in. Lots of frags going the way of good luck. And the revive on the engineer has come in. He'll push up top. And the nades have to be really good on the back. As uh, it is Sherlock to make it away. Shaman to slow them down on the stairs. But this nade's going to... Oh, he's not. Will he build it and press the button in time? He has. Nice work from Sherlock. Very quick off the mark. He knew he had that small window of a chance. They have secured the first gold crate. They have secured the first gold crate. So the gold is in the back of the truck. Now it's just about escorting it around. Need to get a revive. Struggled. Four minutes remain for a time on the clock, and they have to get a time on the clock, really. Because they lost the first map, you get full health, that's it, done. Still reviving on West, but Seb has, uh, sorry, on East, uh, Seb has gets a free run on West. He's in the back of the truck. And then so we're trying to slow them down in the spawn a little bit. They will know he's in the back of the truck, because where else is he going to be? Karma's going to jump up on the back. Oh, oh. Give uh, give nades two ally players are uh, are inside east. I think it's just Aquila and by himself for ten seconds. Sebhes should be coming soon. Oh Sebhes, here come the, the respawning players. As uh, Sherlock is going to get his hands on the truck. We do have Shaman in position middle tower. Very uh. Rarely utilized middle window towards the axis spawn. And, uh, nice work from Charmin, just holding him back. He didn't get in a revive. The truck has stopped for a split second. So they should set a time here. It's not going to be great. It's going to be about the 10 minute mark. As uh, Sherlock gets it to the top of the hill nearly. Respawning allies will come in very soon. They should be able to secure this truck. Doing their best to slow it down the axis, maybe by about 10, 15 seconds. But like I said, it will be around about 10 minutes, which is which is reasonable. A time is a time. Supply is a map which you can free hold, uh, free hold, full hold. Let's have a little look. 19 frags coming out from Aquila, 17 for Shaman. Very equal on the damage, very equal on the kills. Considering the access of the defending team, they didn't outfrag too much. Prepare to fight. Too intense. I feel like 2010 again. <laughs> We're gonna kick things off again. Fight. It's gonna be good luck on the attack, and they're attacking for the win. If they get held here, it will go to a decider. But if they win, it'll be four to zero. And good luck could be uh, pushing for a playoff position with this win. I'm going aggressive in the cave. We'll have play a player here. Nice time, Nate. That's the second frag after that Luger frag. Two players alive for the LI team. Five seconds for a respawn on, on Shaman. He's going to do what he can. Got a little bit of a support there from Sherlock. They're just cleaning things up, making it as difficult as possible for the LI team. They're, they're short on numbers. They're not going to be able to push very well. Karma in this upper area. Pretty decent shooter this time, Karma. He is coming up against a decent defense, and obviously, defense has got a little bit of an advantage. Struggling with the revives. We've seen that a little bit today. It is hard when you're getting shot. You basically have to aim ahead of where you need to revive, if that makes sense. Because you're constantly getting pushed back. Oh, 
wasting a bit of the access team's ammo. Not a bad idea. He's going to get taken down. I think he's getting shot in the back. It was Seb has two flanked. He gets uh, eventually the revenge frag. That's a kill out. And he dropped. When everyone kills out, it, it, it defaults to, to free cam. It's uh, rare, rare. It's rare. A bit more often in 3 on 3. It's rare on 6 on 6, but it's fun. What's just happened? I'm stuck. Nice shooting from Sebes. He's got his nade. He knows where this player is. Hear the, hear the healing. Another push from Aquila. A bit of damage towards him. Aquila's going to get absolutely destroyed by Shaman's grenade. And this first stage looks very solid from Trip Jump. They look good for the, the hold here. They, they looked good for the hold on ice, to be fair. And we know how that went. Short spawn here. This may be a small chance for the allies to push in this area. The nade in the door. Very nice. Now pushed up though. No minds to worry about in terms of where you're going to position yourself. Nice work from the trick jump team. The revives will come in. Simon has to do the same. It's not going to happen. I think this, it was a short spawn for allies so they just didn't bother. Aggressive play from Axis. These kills don't really add much. It's just a slow down. Nice, uh, nice Luger play from Sebes. There should be someone from the cave making it in low. A shorter player. Uh, he dove on his own grenade. Yeah, that would be it. It's like, where is the third? Kill himself. Jump are going to hold on to the stage. Just over five and a half minutes remain. They've nearly done half the job. Because the job is based on time. Of course, that's how stopwatch works. Nice shot from Seves. And a nice nade as well. That's going to stop them from bouncing down. Yeah, you might have been able to push down for Regardless, the respawn has come in and gets destroyed by Seves and Shaman in the lower area. And uh, good luck struggling here on supply. And unlike, unlike ice, where you can get the objective and just get away right at the last moment, you need to do these early objectives quickly. We do have Simon here pushing for the flag. He must have been hurt. He's going to grab it on the spawn. Really nice from, uh, from Simon. And this is a small chance. Yeah, everyone stands still just like, what just happened? I don't know. I have no idea. So a random team kill comes in. I think he thought they had the flag still. Maybe going to push through the door, I don't know. Plant going down up top. Dynamite planted. Dynamite planted. I'm just going to get everything built. Just make sure we're ready. I don't have to defend it for too long. Once the plants blow, it's going to be like, what, 3 minutes, 50 seconds? I think if the truck just had free reign to just run, go around the entire map, it almost will take that time. A little bit of pressure being put on towards the cave, but trick jump holding on, doing their best. They have lost CP seemingly. Aggressive play from Sherlock. Sepes getting in quite a decent amount of damage, and they have got a Kovi and an engineer. Engineer has been taken down, but Simon with the revive. Sepes is going to do his best, but it should be an easy build. Nice play from Karma to go the inside or around the back, however you want to say it. And Sepes hasn't got any idea. Medic. 
So lots of shots from the Axis. I don't think the Allies have enough time now. Double grenade as well on main. Two engineers taken down. You're going to be hating that. You're going to be hating that. So this is like, like trick jump. We're going to be able to square things up. down on main nope he does get it down but it's uh, another bad plant slightly slightly out we had a bad plant in another game slightly to the right hand side cp is in the hands of the allies but the axis don't care i'm actually gonna stay on full as well push through cave simon's gonna get a lot of damage towards uh Towards Sherlock, didn't have any backup, didn't even wait. Karma's coming in now, and he gets the give. Nice give work from Karma. That is very different to the Karma that used to. I used to know. Used to go for the kills rather than the gibs. It's nice to see. So he's going to get the plants down on main to try and get something out of this map. Strike is has gone down. May actually blast. It did it blast and it gibbed. First set. We're not going to see this. I'm not sure what the decider will be. I'm not sure if the decider is um, elimination or forced. But I would assume it's forced. Maybe Adler Nest. Just because they don't want delays too much. Um, although it isn't too much of a delay, there is 15 minutes left on this uh, round of games. Adler Nest will be a bit nicer. Hopefully, don't miss the next game. So that would be a pretty nice game to see. Fairly boring end to supply here. A lot of control for the trick jump team. Nice, uh, nice saving grenades. A double engineer grenade was. I think it was all already over at that point, but that was it. So uh, let me see. It's two two. And there's the best jokes ever in chat. I get muck, lol. I could tell them I could muck. I could jump in with 150 ping. That would actually be not pleasant at all. So who are we watching right now? We're watching jump against good luck just gonna add my stream because I didn't and it look makes it look like there's more viewers because there is and the next game we're doing is Kawitu against um, Kawitu against Team Oxid. G Rush out. Nice to see. Now, Trick Jump, we need to remove delivery. Want to see Frost or Adler? Should be fairly quick that way. Frost out. Oh, Ozo's hating it. 
Are we going to see deliver uh, Adler or delivery? Give us, give us Adler. Give us Adler. Delivery. Hopefully, good to lack are good at attacking, and they don't get full held. I don't want a two. I don't want a double full hold here. That would be awful. I, I really don't want to miss the next game. So the game is about to kick off. Third map is delivery. This could mean a lot to both teams, actually. Even if uh, they both already qualified or if they're going to qualify, positioning in the group means a lot. Very, very strange plant from uh, Karma. I think he was just faking it. Nice shooting. Simon is going to be able to get those revives in as well. And they should push through. Sure clock had to get Sebhes back up. Shaman. Takes down Karma. Made a call by himself. Made up top. Shaman goes for a little fly. And the push comes in for the flag. What's going on? I don't know who's got this. It is going to be the allies, but they aren't going to spawn there. Axis are going to start pushing in for it. It does look like they're maybe going to have the, a chance to get their hands on it. Show clock has to get this frag in. It's so random. Karma's going to try and push in through as the engineer gets taken down. And uh, yeah, the two respawners could deal with it quite easily. Dynamite has actually been planted at one of the the walls so there might be actually a small opportunity for Aquila if he just pushes on through he will not have the charge to complete the build but he's going to have the charge to at least put I don't know half in yeah a lot of freedom here and he could just finish this why is he fragging yeah okay smart oh, he didn't he couldn't finish it and Sepes picks up a three kill Objective what just destroyed. happened why didn't the medic support the engineer in the room? Maybe there wasn't any communication that he didn't have full charge. I mean, it should be fairly obvious he got the plant down. Now they just have to defend it for like 30 seconds and then it will reset. They are pushing in in the upper area. Karma is the engineer. I will try and get to Karma. He only has to dive on this. He should just dive on this. So he gets revived. Nades is uh, in the doorway. Nice revive work from uh, the attacking pairs. Bad nade though from Simon. And that means uh, Kama's going to push forward be by himself almost. And that's it. Quilla's picked up three frags. They really shouldn't uh, get the building now. Has actually reset already. Karma. Karma. Out for 10 seconds. That was really strange. So many sprees going on, but the revive work from both teams has been pretty pretty strong. Like Simon just got a lot of damage in there, but all three players are alive. They're going to have to kill out though. They're very low on ammo. Aggressive play. And Karma should have a lot of uh, space to just push in. He might get shot. He needs to get revived. That was poor. Slow, slow start now for the allies. They're waiting. I think it's maybe Karma all alone. See the axes have pushed forward. Oh, they nearly got the flag on the spawn time. I'll stick with Shaman here. Looks like they're going to try and set up an office defense. Seb Hess and Shaman both here. And Simon gets a. Uh, Double teamed, uh, Sepes came in for support just at the end of that little duel. And the sneak is highly possible here. I'm not sure where all the players are. We are missing one player, Aquila has pushed in lower. Attack, yeah, indeed. And this is where danger zone. They are going to get taken down for full. 
But the respawn's going to come in if the allies are, so they're not going to really be able to take full opportunity of this. Two, two Axis players alive. Nice grenade. Sebes is one is going to be important as well. Has he already started priming it? Yes. Nice from Sebes. Nice revive. It really should be a, a build here. They killed out. Is Karma in the room? I don't know what's going on. This is uh, people paying too much attention to their own spawn times. <laughs> Charmin didn't want to fall down there. I think he's one of the last players alive, actually. He is. Nice shot from Charmin. He has a nade, nicely on the objective. It's going to get a bit of damage in, but the build comes out. And that's the most important thing. Seven minutes remain for the Ally team. Objective taken. Took them a while to get that done. It looked like it was a real struggle. Push coming into this up area. Nice shooting from Simon. Sebhes manages to back off, gets a bit of damage in reply. Simon has to back off all the way, pretty much, to a... Uh, the corridor. Two man team in that button room. All three. This is the predicament they come out against again. It's, uh, I don't know, he didn't pick that up. Missed the headshot every time. As the attacking player, you've got to decide, you know. Nice skip. Very nice skip. Gonna maybe go for the secure here. Charmin. That was close. Pretty nice spot to hide in, actually, from Aquila. Quick strafe down. Grenade on the respawn for Seb Hess. The button is still pressed. So the next gold crate can just easily be put put in the back of the truck. I don't know if Sherlock has anything to do with it. Closes the door. And the allies have to start again. I'm not sure how they got in, in the last one. Blasted forward. Karma gets a little bit of an advantage there. Takes Sherlock a little bit by surprise. No revive for, sh for Karma. And Simon pushes on through. Nice shooting. Doesn't manage to get that second frag. And revives will come in in, the, in this uh, main room. The spam room, I call this. Both teams are going to nade this, basically. Push on the spawn side, I, I think. Maybe nade through the window. Not sure. Two players come in this main way. Only five the revives. Over. This nade has to like basically kill all three. Strange. He tries, tries to do the old running with packs out to press the button. Sometimes works. Sometimes works. Another push into the office. They've got to sacrifice the objective at some point, where they just need to push in with the objective. Gibbs' his teammate. Because they're pushing only two, two at a time. And the objective is just sitting here. It's going to get taken down regardless. So, And a full spawn. Sometimes you just need to push with the objective. It's just the way it has to be done. 2 on 3 you're going to have to hit some really crazy shots. And they're going to have to mess up revives. That is a full spawn, actually. So this is the great opportunity... That was a nice gib. The gold has not been secured, so it's at the top of the ladder still. Objective taken. And they just need to push forwards, all three of them. Someone's going to go aggressive, gets two frags, but the revives will come in. It's down to uh, Sherlock in the room. Nice headshots raining out. As uh, the shot comes in from behind, Sebes is going to be able to pick up the last frag and get the revive in. The objective is just sat there in the doorway. He's going to try his best not to secure it. This is just a waste of time of the Allies as much as possible. Kind of standard. And then they'll secure it, so... And then give themselves 20 seconds extra. Objective secured. There we go. Second gold crate returned. Push into the room, and Sebes is hiding this little spot again. 
And Shaman's going to clean up two frags for him. The defense in this uh, back room is pretty solid. Mainly the Gib. Triple kill in the end for Shaman. Still yet to see that three man push into the button room. Ones, twos. Well, they did actually do three when Sebes came in from behind. That was three on two, so it was a really good advantage. Nade, oh, so unfortunate. Three players in the room. Push coming in from spawn side. Two players here. Nice little work. Crossfire needs to press the button. They're blocking it the best they can. Really nice work from the Axis there. I'm not sure who that was. I think that was a combination of all three. Oh, but he manages to get in for the button. And they're never going to be able to stop this. They're never. <laughs> they're shooting each other. How? How? How didn't he get in? That doesn't make any sense. He must have just been too far away. He had... Oh. I was like, they're shooting each other, they're never going to get this. And he just doesn't make it in. Tried to prone under the door, I think. Objective secured. Objective taken. Got nice grenade on the respawn. Sepes has to run away. Sherlock may be going to get taken down by Karma. It's not going to happen. They're going to go for the truck defense. And it's going to be all on Seves. Manages to take down Simon. One on one with the objective now. He needs to play fairly defensive. You can see the, you can see the objective coming effectively. Nice headshots from Seves. He's not going to be able to hold this though. It's in the 10 minute 53 time. That is not great. That is not a great time at all. Pretty lackluster attacks, if I'm honest. 23 frags, though, coming out for Sebhes and Shaman. 4.2k damage coming out from Sebhes. Across to the other team, both Simon and Karma, 3.5k damage. But 22 frags in the hands of Simon. But yeah, the attacks were pretty boring. It was very hard to watch. They attacked the two for so, so long. Like, that's what I don't understand. It should be quite obvious what the issue is after maybe two pushes. And they do it like 10 times, so... Um, I don't know. Maybe they kind of deserved that they didn't. They didn't get a decent time. Three minute time. Yeah. Prepare we'll see if uh, we'll see how good they are in delivery attack. They are starting with a sniper, which is I like to see because uh, that seems to be quite effective. At least at holding them off for the plant. Fight. Don't let them capture the forward bunker. So it's going to be Seb has to bounce down. He's normally good at getting these plants down quickly. Played engineer quite a lot. Nice grenade from Shaman. They are going to be able to pick up two kills. Maybe Seb has is going to be able to make it through. I'm not sure about the respawn. And Simon is taking a lot of damage. Shaman with a 4k. And Seb has managed to push through. But he hasn't got the charge. He's going to try and build anyway. I've got no idea where the Axis team are. They are going to be able to get into the room. But this has been a big distraction. Nice work from Seb has. Bit of charging out as well, so he'll be able to potentially finish off on the next spawn. Let's work. Big 4k though from Shaman on that push. More frags. Double on a grenade comes out from Aquila. And he's, I think he's going to give a teammate here. Karma's all alone. Four or five seconds. And he's going to get rolled over a little bit. Lots of damage taken. Takes down two. Really nice reply though from Karma. He needs to pick up the next one. Really important. The grenade rings in as well. Aquila picks up that frag. That was really important from Kami. He seemed to take so much damage off the bat. And still replied with two frags. And the flag is going to get picked up by Simon. A bit of a bit of energy here. A bit more exciting. Nine and a half minutes remain. Plenty of time for the Allied team. Axis has got their work cut out. They have uh, got that, that flag defense on the setup. Shaman needs to get in this revive. Does get taken down. Gets the revive in. What's the spawn site now? Very long spawn and two guys on pistols. So they could get rolled over on this on this flag if they're not careful. The plant is not on the on the good side for the uh, ally team. Charman is rolling in in that lower area. They know he's pushed through. And the Garand has been put, pulled out again. I'm pretty sure the, uh, the Axis are going to spawn back in. I don't think they're going to push forward this time. Yeah. 
they are. Quilla decides to back off. Lots of uh, damage going in this lower area. Maybe they're going to push forward for the flag. Someone actually decides to back off. Maybe the spawn time is not favourable. It isn't. Allies spawning back in. Shaman taken down for full. Quite easily, in fact. As the grenade's actually going to come in towards office. And uh, Quilla and Simon have actually both killed out. So no flag grab. Nice shooting from uh, Sherlock. He is going to get taken down. I think he's out for a... I think it should be a respawn. Maybe he's out for full here, actually. Nope, three man, three man respawn. All good. Taking a lot of damage from that grenade. More damage from the shots. Revive is required. An age raining towards that upper area. More, more revives needed. No more revives. get taken down he needs, he needs to back up his teammates once he gets that first kill they need to just close in on the remainers as uh, sure I was watching there no gib comes in I'm not going to see shaman get two frags but they shouldn't be able to make it in towards the uh, objective they aren't even going to be able to oh they have shaman has at least they haven't got an engineer here They're waiting for the ng brother brax he's going be cut off if he's not careful Nice work from Seves to come across to support. And, uh, God, we're going to get cut down. Seves, the last man alive. Karma with that double frag coming in from behind. And he might be able to push forward for the flag here. Decides to back off. Probably could have made it. No, he couldn't have. Oh, the grenades. I'm going to see people break their legs. This is pretty uh, horrible so far. The Eli team. They're going to hold on to the flag. Reclaim did come in. Simon picks up three frags on, on that little push. I'm, I'm, this is not looking good for the LA team. At least they didn't full hold. Because if they full hold, a double full hold would just kill me. Only planted on the left hand side as well, which I think this side is the harder one to get to. A lot of players go right when they spawn, then you have to go across, which just makes it a bit more difficult. Also, when you've only played one, it makes it easier. Let's revive the team kill. Nice try from Sherlock. He's going to push up for the revive. Seves maybe going to try and push in a low door. It's not going to happen. It's overwhelmed. Does take down one. The Luger of uh, Simon finishes things off. And the respawning Axis are going to have to get back to the flag pronto. Because allies are going to be here very soon. And there's only one player in position. Here's uh, Quilla. He's going to come up towards this flag area. Maybe, maybe Seb has made it through here, I'm not sure. Do they know? They don't know. So this is going to secure the flag for his team. Some nice work from Seb Hess. It was vital, very important. And so they know he's here. Going to come from the office side. He didn't press the button. It's different. But sometimes it's worth pressing the button just because the other team might mess it up. I think once upon a time, this map you could press the button and open it by accident as the Axis team. I'm pretty sure. Nice headshots come in for Sherlock. He's going to be able to open things up for his team. And we do see the Allies doing what, exactly what I said was needed, where they push with the objective holder and uh, they secure things with the objective holder. Nice Karma's going to try and hold on to it. He 
he's all alone at the, the truck goes aggressive takes down his uh his opposing number objective is just going to be uh, left set there let's delay as much as possible i think i think shaman is in the room now yes objective secure objective taken see a re-pick up of the objective and uh they have the button, so Sherlock should just escort. Oh, they don't have the button anymore, maybe. Chavez uh, struggling to hit some shots there. He has got Sherlock for backup. Karma's going to come in from behind them. Chavez moved into position to support them as well, and they are going to get all shot down. Karma with that double frag. And then, like I said, no one, no one's alive, so it's just sat there free camming. I don't think they pressed the button, I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. The doors are closing, then he just press the button. Nice frag from Shaman and the Gib. And a bit of damage towards Simon here. He has to pick up another frag and they're going to be able to press the button. And it should be, should be the goal back. Should have, uh, should be able to escort it in. It's going to go for the harder one first, which is good. And our brother Brax, aka the Sherlock. Objective taken. We pick up the, the second objective. As the good luck team seem to move in towards the barn. Shaman's there all alone, but he's got the backup of Sebhes, and this is could be a big throw from the Axis team. As uh, they have had to back out from the button area. Nice work from uh, Sherlock to sort of predict that. It's gonna be able to press the button. No revive. Two minutes remain in this game. At least, at least it's got a bit manic, if, not, if nothing else. Nice grenade. Karma doing a lot of damage with Sherlock as well. And Sharma comes up the ladder, takes a lot of damage. Simon uh, manages to finish that off. Objective secure. Second gold trait returned. Objective taken. Here comes the objective in the uh, in the office area. Oh, bad grenade. Could have been a double team kill. At least uh, so is just going to get that revive in. And the shame is on point. But the revives are going to come in for the Axis team. And because there's no pressure on the, on the spawn side. You're going to be able to... Uh... It's going to be easy. Objective taken. Grenades from the Axis, both wasted. Nice shooting, no Karma's gonna be able to get one. And Shaman has to try to push through and just goes in through a doorway and gets nailed. Makes it too easy. Doorway frags are so easy for defending teams. This is the last 30 seconds, pretty much the last push. They can still do it. This of course is the push to the win or defend for the win. And, uh, high pressure frags, three players in the room. A grenade would be really hard here. As Karma goes really aggressive, I'm not sure what that was about, but the objective is going to get returned, and that is going to be GG. As good luck are going to come out on top with a 4-2 victory, taking down Trick Jump here on delivery on the decider map. And it was pretty tight, not in a good way. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty uh, bad from both teams, but the attacks weren't great. 47 frags coming out from Simon, 42 from Shaman. And uh, very even on the damage, just slightly outfragged by the Good Luck team. But that's going to be a 4-2 victory.